International Baccalaureate Mathematical Studies. B and C are subsets of a universal set U such that the universal set contains only integers between 0 and 10 but not including 10. Uh, inside the universal set there will be a set B which contains all the prime numbers less than 10. Also there's a set C which again are integers um, between 1 and 6 but not including 1. So the first thing we should do is draw a Venn diagram to show this information. If you go to set C, we know that the first number that we can have in set C is 2 because we can't have 1 and they're all integers so it's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now in there we've got some prime numbers so therefore those will be in set B as well so it's going to be the intersection of B and C. So we can start by filling in the numbers that are in set C and placing them in the correct sectors. So first of all, between 2 and 6, which numbers are prime? Well, there's 2, 3 and 5. So we can write those in the intersection of B and C, 2, 3 and 5. And therefore the, rem the remaining numbers are um, 4, and six. Remember, we're not allowed to have one. B is the next set that we look at. All the prime numbers less than ten. Well, we've got two, we've got three, we've got five in this part, but the only one that's not that is missing is seven, and that goes in the outside part there. And then finally, the universal set itself contains all the integers from and including zero up to, but not including ten. So zero isn't written down so far. 1 is not written, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the next one is 8, and the next one is 9. So there we've got a Venn diagram which we can now use to answer question A. So question A, part 1, list the members of set B. So B, we can do this quite easily now that we've got a uh, Venn diagram to look at. Set B is this part here, so it's 2, 3, 5 and 7. And then also, by doing the Venn diagram, you can put your numbers in order so that there's no confusion. So 2, 3, 5 and 7 is set B. Part 2, we're asked to find C intersection B. So C intersection B, and again, because we've got the Venn diagram, it shouldn't be too difficult. C in and B, the intersection is this part, so therefore C intersection B is 2, 3, and 5. And again, very easy to do when you've got a Venn diagram. Part 3 is B union C dash. What does this mean? It means it can be in B, all of set B, or anything that's not in C. So we can have this part here and the outside part as well. And again, because we've got the Venn diagram, we can put these numbers in order. So the smallest number is 0, then 1, then 2, 3, 5, and 7. And finally, 8 and 9. It's just worth looking at this set again, just to be clear about this. B union C dash means everything that's in B and also everything that's not in C. So everything that's in B is there, 2, 3, 5, and 7. And everything that's not in C is 0, 1, 8, and 9. So it's a combination of these four numbers here and these four numbers here. And there we are, we've answered part A. <coughs> Moving on to part B, we're asked to consider the propositions P, X is a prime number less than 10, and Q, X is a positive integer between 1 and 7. 
Now, the thing that we have to do is write down in words the contrapositive of the statement. If x is a prime number less than 10, then x is a positive integer between 1 and 7. So, in the language of logic, we could say if x is a prime number less than 10, that's p. So, we can say p implies... Then x is a positive integer between 1 and 7. x positive integer between 1 and 7. p implies q. Now, the contrapositive is simply the negation of q implies the negation of p. That's all the contrapositive is. So. We can let's just put a little cloud around there and make a note of it. So if P implies Q, the contrapositive is the negation of Q implies the negation of P. So we can now start to think about what it is we've got to write in words. So let's put some speech marks down. Um, let's start with the negation of Q. Well, Q is a positive integer between 1 and 7. So we will say if X is not a positive integer, between 1 and 7, then the negation of P, X is not a prime number less than 10. And there we are, we've written the contrapositive of the proposition P implies Q. If X is not a positive integer between 1 and 7, then X is not a prime number less than 10.